Adobe Express is a browser editing tool similar to Canva where you can edit thumbnails, um, Instagram content or any other social media platform for free or use a premium version. I have a thumbnail to do for a video I uploaded to YouTube and this is a perfect opportunity to see which is better, Adobe Express or Canva. And I'm gonna tell you by the end of this video which one is best and who makes the cut. Video-wise, short-wise, at least, or TikTok editing short-wise, I feel like you have more options on Canva with its animated text, etc. Check out my Canva video. I made a, a video about editing shorts on Canva. It is simpler than on Adobe Express for now because you only can like speed up, reverse videos, um, crop, convert to GIF, more videos, resize, and trim. You can't really do much like text animation, title animation, and things like that on this editor for now when at the filming of the filming of this video. One thing though, they have change of speed or reverse video, which I don't believe I have in Canva regular. I don't have Canva Pro. So if you do, let me know in the comments <laughs> if you can do that in Pro to focus on thumbnails. You can start from scratch, YouTube thumbnails start from scratch here. Or you can just type in, which you're seeing it pop up already, YouTube channel and start from there. I'm gonna start from a thumbnail already done. The thumbnails with crowns are the ones that are premium users. I'm for, for the part of this tutorial, I'm just gonna go regular user in case you're doing it free. So this video is a get ready with me. So it's a very simple um, concept text. And already all my, most of my videos are done with like the help of Canva and other editing. And you see that's a kind of a uniformity, except this one, which wasn't done with the Canva completely. But I still find it still fits in compared to last year's thumbnails. I have been practicing doing that. And so I need to have this feel, but I can just edit it completely to get that. I think I can start from here. So we have replace, delete, choose solid color. I do have to replace this, but how do you photos? I'm sure you can drag and drop. So similar to Canva, you can, you have free like stock images you can use and you have seasonal, flat lays, wellness, beauty and fashion people, and you have backgrounds. And of course that's between the premium and not premium users. Um, you got shapes. So that's probably like the element version of in Canva's elements. So shapes is this. And you can search um, text. We're already in the template. Design assets. Ah, okay. So you have these as well. Okay. It's very rich in what you can get. Even if you're not premium, I'm seeing premium, premium, but you still have options as in free. And I'm not even searching. This is what they're just saying trending, which is not bad because you'll know. Stay consistent with libraries. If you have uh like adobe creative cloud account or existing libraries you can connect them here so you can have the same branding across what you do here and other you know adobe products okay let's replace edit back on your place perfect how do i upload photo right here so you can go replace you can upload photo so that's what i'm gonna do try to see if it's like canva and i can drag and drop things instead of click upload as well because the upload button just gives you um the usual or not oh yes it's thinking about it. okay so you can drag and drop so to change backgrounds cut it completely long to change backgrounds you have to click on the background layer here in the icons and then click and then go here okay that's not bad that's actually advantageous that they have layers compared to Canva. Another comparison. That's like, you can go from below, from below, from below, from top to bottom, from like center front, center back. I was like, you can center front, center back, but that's pretty much it. So this gives you more of a control, what to control, if that makes sense. I, one thing, it's a fight for me to get things to open on this, which I don't like so far. Cause it's not opening. Like that's why is it, like I go choose image and it's fighting me. 
So I'm just dragging and dropping and seeing if it works. And see, it doesn't work when I drag and drop. It doesn't understand that it's a background. So I, mm, I, I know about that. I know about that. I don't be expressed now. There we go. Okay. Again, at least y'all know I'm not lying. I told you I am learning <laughs> with you all. I am learning with you all how to do this. I want this to be full though, so. One thing, where this is? Where this one is? Now I have it twice, great. Love that for me. <laughs> I don't know how to do. <laughs> how do you uncraft it? Me. I don't want to replace it now. No, we're good. How do I uncrap this? You know what? Delete. <laughs> I don't got a patience for it. So what I'm going to do? <laughs> I just feel like this is less intuitive than um, Canva, but I'm biased because I like Canva. I'll figure out how to crop later. But maybe I can't crop it because it's that, but still, usually I can move it around and cut the path I don't want it, you know? Like, I gotta be like that. Can I unzoom with the, yeah. Control, um, cease, control cease, that's strange. Control is, <laughs> control minus, whatever. The stick, the tire, that's strange too. I'm tired. The quality's still good, so that's good on that. Okay, the look we're going for is to match my YouTube channel look. Um, when we pass the Canva, you'll see I already have my template, so it'll be a fast swish swish. Um, Lovelo. So let's see if I can find that font. In Canva, I use Lovelo. I want to use the same font here. Let's see if that's possible. Um, okay, font recommendation. Get inspired with curated fonts powered by Adobe's font library. Easily try out fonts recommended based on your unique design and see how they fit directly in your, in your project. Okay. Um... Can I get low velo? Maybe they can offer me other fonts as well that are similar. Because I'm seeing the recommendations here underneath. No font found. Okay, so that's a no. <laughs> okay, so I need to find a font that looks like, kind of like it. Because I'll be forever here. If not. Lado, sorry, I can't say Lado without saying it like that. <laughs> because of the lap ball. That's a ball. Last change, so get ready with me. Get ready, sorry, that's a WM. Because people know what that means. So we're gonna keep it to that. And we can move it around. Get, let's go chit chat, get ready with me. Get ready with me, chit chat. Okay. Can we alt and it duplicates? No, we cannot. But alt just makes this move, which I wasn't trying to do, but that's fine. No, alt does not make that. Can you control and duplicate? No. So can control C, control V? Probably yes. Uh, but it's gonna be mad. If you can't control C, control V, we gonna fight. <laughs> so, oh, oh, it was giving me recommendations. Yeah, chit chat. This might be a little better. A bit. It's just a little curvier though. But if you want exciting text though, I find Adobe has more choice and exciting text compared to um Canva when it comes to the choices. Like that I just put that randomly. Like you can change the color of this, whatever. But like with text with the written writing on it, and then you just fill in what you want to fill in. That's way, I find it's way better. Cause you can get this, like coming soon and edit this, correct? Yes. I think that's way better. So I feel like thumbnail wise, you do have more choice of like ideas. If you start from scratch or if you start from a template, I find you do have more choice and like you can see that saying sales phase, you can search for it. Whereas I feel like Canva doesn't have as much choice. Um, for ready-made um, everything, you have to go look for it in a template and then pick it. Or maybe I've been doing it wrong all this time. Oh, completely possible. <laughs> ah, that's better. 
Last battle. Instant battle. It's only the time. Nah, should I? Mm. How about mirror? That's something you need to get ready with. A mirror. There we go. Okay, we get things. We getting somewhere. I like none of these. <laughs> you know what? It's just gonna stay like that. Simple. Get ready. I'm just gonna put get ready and see what happens. I'm just gonna put it. I have get lucky. It's, it's not working. It's not working out. We gonna go simple. You know what? A simple get ready with me chit chat. Let's go to Canva. If you don't know Canva, this is a template section. It's the same. You can go, you can write YouTube thumbnail and it will banner, etc. Things will pop up the same as um, Adobe. So just to be fair, Canva, I have like, it's my thumbnail preset. I saturate a little bit more for the colors to be better on Canva itself to brighten. I like saturate the image. So you see compared to this to this, it looks better. I can check now. I'm searching back to Adobe. I know professional professional on you i told you i was doing this at the same time so that's enhance for it to be fair and do a little bit more saturation there so that's how it's fair y'all will be like well adobe is better because the colors go in enhancement and fix your colors okay put it here did i put it more on the side i'm trying to get it similar so we have to try to mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna try to get it similar. So I expand the wrong side. Classical rice. <laughs> I know y'all don't be like that, but I'm like, that's a classical rice thing to do. Trust me. There we go, a little bit better. Yeah, it fits here. Get ready with me, chit chat. So, the same, we'll say more or less. I keep clicking the wrong thing. I should click put them together so that how it's less likely I click the wrong thing. How about that? This, 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 this. See, it's it's close, close. Oh, I did. I go. I didn't like this. It didn't mean chit chat. Okay, this is big, but I don't want to touch the hair like this. One's not touching the hair, so it is what it is. Close enough. So that's what it is. Same. Let's see if Canva can have a little cute element on the side. Uh, I'm gonna like the same thing. So we, we put get ready. That was one. Get ready. Okay, they have some. I don't. Okay, they have some stuff, but premium. Just in case. Get ready. Um, if not, why did I put mirror? That was another one I put. Maybe I'm just putting the wrong thing. Canva. Adobe. I prefer the Canva version. Tell me which one you prefer in the comments. Or you'll be like, it's the same. But experience wise, again, I have more time with Canva. So maybe that's why I like it. But since Adobe Express, does have you know the back end of photoshop premiere pro if you've already working with all those things i think this might be a plus to just stay in the adobe family so you can just import things you already have um it works with layers similar to photoshop um illustrator and all of them and i feel though that i like my little canva animation wise doing things like that but i do think this probably will still be good. Because I feel like the fact that there's layers, and I believe that, see, that's remove background. It's remove background free. That's the thing. It's remove background free. Or it's just remove the background. Because you know what I'm thinking of is the remove background when you have a picture and you want to remove the background behind it. It is. Okay. So that's a big plus compared to, um, you know, Canva. Canva, you cannot remove the background free. So this Adobe, you did, you're, you're giving to us free. Yeah. 
okay, is it perfect, perfect? No, because they remove the white stuff underneath. But honestly, it's not that bad. Maybe if I had like the clean photo, it will be fine. So yeah. I think I will use both, to be honest. And y'all like, that's a cop out. You do this whole video to say you're going to use both? Yeah. I honestly think I'm going to use both. Like, I think it depends on what I want to do and how I want to do it. But I really do think it's possible that I'm going to use both of these. I still prefer Canva because of what I said before, the shorts, the multiple templates, the elements. But Adobe has removed backgrounds already. It has layers, so that's kind of quicker in those sense so i feel like i'm gonna use both to really see which one is better for what aspect i know that there's a scheduler in adobe express as well so maybe that's also what i'm gonna use it for but i don't know if canva is better for the for longer because don't forget canva has other options canva you can um literally have the word text generator as well um it's not only um pictures now and again adobe has advantage with this remove background if you have a green screen or something already in the back that's easier to remove and not have to pay premium to do anyway like and subscribe thank you for watching until now i hope this video helped you on which one you want to choose if you want to choose only one and tell me in the comments which you think is best if you have a preference. And if not, it's fine. Take care and see you next time. Bye-bye.